Hi, welcome back to Lady and the Stamp. Today we're going to make this really fun snowflake, which will be a great holiday decoration for you. Um, it's just, we just used um, regular uh, copy paper from the printer, and um, it takes six pieces of paper, and some scissors and some tape, and a bit of ribbon in case you want to uh, use it to, the ribbon to hang it uh, from your tree or from your door. So we'll get into how we're going to make it. So the first step is to take a piece of uh, copy paper and you're going to make it into a square. So to do that, you just fold it over across diagonally. That's good. And then we're going to cut this, this extra tab off. So we'll just use a pair of scissors to cut that off. Throw that away. And then we're going to make four sets of cuts. Um, and you do that, just a pair of scissors. And so just cut a straight line, but don't cut all the way through. So you can see that I didn't cut that piece all the way off. So yeah, like, so leave just this part a little bit not cut. And then you're going to do that four times, getting wider every single time. Okay, there's cut number two. And cut number three. And then finally cut number four. Now we're going to open that up and we have this great pattern and now we're going to actually make the snowflake. Now I have this fun, fun little tape uh, a runner that I'm going to use, but you can also use double-sided scotch, scotch tape. tape. doesn't even have to be double-sided. It works, it works handy though. So we're just going to put a piece of tape right here and we're going to roll it over and tape the two pieces together. So my fingers dropped that one. So I hope you can see that right there. And so you had this little tube. Here, another way to do this, I'm just going to show it with the scotch tape. As you just roll the next piece. Here. And then we roll it, turn it over to do the and next one. If you want to do it with scotch tape, okay, so take your scotch tape, put it right there on the edge, and fold this and bring it and just stick it together so that it makes the same, ah, same pattern. Now we'll do the, the last piece, the last two pieces. Last pieces. And you want to alternate sides every time you do this, that's very important. Okay. And you have your completed piece. Now, to, in the interest of time, we had already done the first five, so, um, what we're going to do now is take this piece in the center and we're going to staple it to the other ones. You can also use scotch tape. We just decided to use a stapler because it holds it together better. So you just put the stapler in there. This is easier said than done, by the way. And staple. I like to staple it twice just to make sure it's secure. Yep. And then the last step that you're going to do is take like uh, the piece right here, which was the, one of the middle pieces, and we're going to tape those two pieces together. So it helps hold the whole snowflake together. And you can do this with a scotch tape roll as well. So if you just tape your thing, roll it over, ah, and you have a nice roll that you can stick between Let's put it right there. snowflakes. Put that right there. Right there, and right there. Right there. And, and, then, and this just makes it a lot more uniform and holds it together. We need another piece right here. And it makes a beautiful snowflake. You could also use um, colored paper or pattern paper, any paper that you have. Beautiful and, paper. Or you can um, you could uh, add glitter to it and make it sparkly. Um, we and you know punch a hole in the top, add a ribbon to hang it up, and Explore. you have a fun craft. Yeah. And then. Also on this one, we 
if you want to hang it, we use this piece of ribbon, which you can tack or something to a wall or tape it to a ceiling. Or, or hang it from the ceiling. I think it would be really pretty hanging from the ceiling. Yep. And it's a fun craft. Anything else? Uh, thanks for okay. joining us today. This is right. Pam and Shane. Thanks for watching. Um, click here for the previous video. Click here for the video that YouTube recommends for you. And click up here to subscribe. Bye now.